In this episode of FTD Facts, we're taking a look at the F-16 Fighting Falcon and the Saab Gripen. Hey everyone, my name is Leroy Kenton and thanks for tuning in to another episode of FTD Facts. This is a channel where we bring you information and facts and history and all that good stuff about the different countries, cultures, and people from all around the world. Now, if you're a newcomer here to FTD Facts, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss any future episode. Also, hit that like button for good luck. And the last thing I want to mention is my new personal channel, FTD Speaks, is up and running. I can't wait to see all of you over there as well. The General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon is a single-engine supersonic multi-role fighter aircraft originally developed by General Dynamics, now Lockheed Martin, for the United States Air Force. It was designed as an air superiority day fighter and it evolved into a successful all-weather multi-role aircraft. Over 4,600 of these aircrafts have been built since production was approved back in the year 1976. Let's take a look at the Saab Gripen and see how it compares. Back in the year 1979, the Swedish government began development studies for an aircraft capable of fighter, attack, and reconnaissance missions to replace the Saab 35 Draken and the 37 Vigen. So there's this new design from Saab that was selected and developed as the JAS-39, and it made its first flight in the year 1988. The Gripen entered service with the Swedish Air Force in the year 1996. So now I want to get into the nitty gritty. How do these aircraft actually compare when we pit them side by side. The F-16 has a total length of 49 feet and 5 inches. Its wingspan is a total of 32 feet and 8 inches. It is 16 feet tall and now its wing area is 300 square feet. Feet. When it's not fitted with any weapons or anything, its empty weight is 18,900 pounds, which is the equivalent to 8,573 kilograms. It has a fuel capacity of 7,000 pounds or 3,200 kilograms. The F-16 is also powered by a General Electric F-110 GE-129 afterburning turbofan engine. Now let's take a peek into some of the general characteristics for the Saab Gripen. The Saab Gripen is just a tad bit shorter at 46. 6.3 feet and it has a wingspan of 27 feet 6 inches. Its total height is 14 feet and 8 inches and it has a wing area of 323 square feet. And it's powered by a Volvo RM112 after burning turbofan. The fuel capacity of the Saab Gripen is 15,440 pounds. So as you can see the F-16 Fighting Falcon is just a little bit bigger than the Saab Gripen. But now, how do these aircraft compare when we look at the performance aspects? The F-16 has a maximum speed of 915 miles per hour, which is equivalent to 1,472 kilometers an hour at sea level. Now the miles per hour goes up to 1,320, which is equivalent to 2,124 kilometers an hour at cruising altitude. It has a combat radius of 350 miles or 563 kilometers, and its service ceiling is 50,000 feet. For the Saab Gripen, this flies a lot faster at 1,530 miles per hour, which is equivalent to 2,460 kilometers an hour and that's at high altitude which is equivalent to Mach 2. Now at sea level it travels at Mach 1.13 which is 860 miles per hour, which is also equivalent to 1,400 kilometers an hour. It has a combat radius of 497 miles, equal to 800 kilometers, and its service ceiling is 50,000 feet. All right, now I wanna move on to the armament of each of these aircraft. Like, what are they packing? The F-16 Fighting Falcon can be fitted with one 20 millimeter M61A Vulcan six barrel rotary cannon with 511 rounds. The rockets that it can hold are four LAU 5003 rocket pods, each with 19 CRV 770 millimeter rockets. When we look at the armament for the Saab Gripen, it can carry one 27 millimeter Mauser BK-27 revolver cannon with 120 rounds. It can carry four rocket pods which hold 13.5 centimeter rockets. Now looking at the missiles, the F-16 can carry two AIM-7 Sparrow, 
as well as six AIM9 Sidewinder. It can also hold six Iris T and six Python 4 missiles. Now for the Sob Gripen missiles, it can be fitted with six AIM9 Sidewinder or Iris T or a Darter missiles. It can also carry four AIM-120 AMRAAM or MICA missiles, as well as four Meteor missiles, and also four AGM-65 Mavericks. The F-16 Fighting Falcon can carry eight CBU-87 combined effects munition, as well as eight CBU-89 Gator Mine, and finally eight CBU-97 sensor fused weapon bombs. The bombs for the Saab Gripen are as follows. 4 GBU-12 Paveway 2 Laser Guided Bombs, 2 BK-90 Cluster Bombs, as well as 8 Mark-82 Bombs. Some of the pros or advantages for the F-16 is that it's really proven itself in battle over many years. So it means that it's definitely the more safer option over the Sop Gripen. And the F-16 also has a single supply chain. So pretty much if things escalate and you know there's wartime, these aircraft can be assembled a lot faster. However, some of the downsides for the F-16 is that although it is relatively cheaper compared to the Sop Gripen, it has has a much higher operating cost as well as a lower life cycle. So the Gripen also has some good points. It has one of the most advanced sensor technologies in the entire world. The radio communication system is way more superior when you compare it to the F-16s and it has a much lower operating cost as well as a higher life cycle. While the operating cost is less than that of the F-16, the per unit cost of each aircraft is much higher than the F-16. Okay guys, so those were some of the differences between the F-16 Fighting Falcon and the Saab Gripen. Let me know down below in the comment section, which of these do you think would win in a dogfight? Okay guys, so I'm out of here. I'll see y'all real soon. Bye. Hey everyone, so this episode was all about aircraft, right? So. We do have a military playlist where we have a lot more videos about different aircraft as well as the military in general. So tune into FTD Facts every single day for more videos like this as well as videos about other educational topics.